it's really good to see you. I've had a couple requests to do an updated makeup video, so that's why I'm here with plain face. I've washed it with my Neutrogena soap, and I'm going to do another look for you. Hopefully you'll find it relaxing. And if you don't want to watch it, just listen to it. And if you like it, please like below and subscribe if you'd like to be uh, a subscriber to my channel, Platinum Bliss. I'm going to take it up a notch. I'm going to have more of an evening look, more color on the eye. So it will be a little longer than the 10, 10 minutes that I took before when I was heading out to the dentist I think it was I'm not sure but again I have a very simple regimen for makeup um, I have good makeup days and I have bad makeup days as I'm sure everyone does but this is my <clears throat> routine most every day so I'm gonna start with the foundation by Maybelline it is the Dream Liquid Mousse. It is the number 20, Classic Ivory. I start on my chin. Blend it in to the base of my face, of my head, to the neck, so it blends nicely. Then my upper lip area under my nose. Get in the crevices. I do have to shave this area quite a bit, so the foundation does help cover it on days I have, I'm not able to shave. Yes, when you get older, you will find hairs appearing in places that weren't there when you were younger, like right here in the neck area. I call them uh, beard hairs. I guess it's hormonal. Then I put I love the way you pump it and it leaves a bead just a bead of foundation on your finger and again my fingers are very clean but I feel your hands are your best tools makeup tools and then my nose It says it has an airbrush finish, which I like. I don't believe it's uh, SPF anything, which is a shame because I like it when it has the SPF protection for the sun, especially the summer. So I may have to switch come summertime. And a few dots on the forehead. I don't need I don't need that much on the forehead, but now you can either do the foundation first or the under eye concealer first. I usually do this first, so I don't know why I did the other first, but. This is by Revlon. It is Color Stay. And it is a number two light pale. And I like the sponge applicator. I usually put three, three or four dabs. Go right up under my 
bottom lid and take it all the way out. Now with my lighting in this room, it's, uh, it does appear to be a little shadow left, but the, when, you, when I go outside, it usually doesn't show up as much. So my under eyes don't look bag, too baggy and too dark. For my eyeshadow, I have a choice here of two. This is um, Maybelline. I like neutral palettes. I, sometimes I wear blue and green, but today I feel neutral. Here's the City Mini Palette by Maybelline. Um, very. It goes from very shiny sparkly um, colors to matte almost black very dark brown and coppery colors I think I'll go with the copper but before I do that I like to use white this is also Maybelline number 10 vanilla to put in the inner corner of my eye to add a little brightness and again yes to take away some of the darkness from under my eyes and around my eyes. It just brings out your eye a little bit more. I don't know. Little fuzzy. Okay, for the inner lid, upper lid, the inner near the inner corner, I'm going to use a light color and I might go sparkly. Sometimes I just continue with the, the vanilla. I just use the vanilla. But like I said, if it's more of an evening look, I want more of a gold, coppery, shimmery look. And then I'm gonna put this really sparkly, bright color right here under my brow, which I will be coloring in. I like mixing colors. You can imagine if I did this with bright, bold colors, like I would look pretty I don't know, out there. <laughs> but with neutral, you really can't go wrong. I'm going to try this dark brown, like a taupe, on the outer corners. And then try to blend. I don't like to go too far out to the far corners, but...
Maybe make it like a football shape, you know, make it oblong and pointed so that it comes to a point. It doesn't go way out like a cat's eye. You've got a definite point, beginning and ending. Well, the beginning is kind of blended in with the light um, shade in the inner corner, but then the end should have a definite final point. I'm going to do my brows next before the eyeliner. I use the uh, Ulta black on one end, deep brown on the other pencil. Of course brown because my hair is not black. I'm so sorry about this hair of mine. There. Better. Okay. No, not really. All right. I like to make it like real hair is growing there. Short mini strokes to fill in. And I don't need to fill in much here because that's pretty dark. And I want it to look really natural. So no, I'm not gonna make those heavy, heavy, thick, deep brows you might see on those young models. Because I'm, mo I'm not young and I'm not a model. That is for sure. Make sure the end of it goes to the end of your eye. You don't want to have a super short brow. I mean, that just looks different. Funky. I don't like that look. So, I'm not a risk taker, really. I have three eyeliners that I use. I'm gonna share all of them with you. One of them, if I was going with navy, navy blue today, would be CoverGirl Intensify Me in uh, Sapphire, number 315. Okay. And it's a really nice, it goes on so easily. It's got like a felt tint pen, I love it. You can make it thick, wide, or very, very thin and narrow lines. Very nice. I also use e.l.f., which is very inexpensive at Walmart. This is black. This is a straight pencil. This is an actual eyeliner pencil. And it comes with its own sharpener. So that's kind of cool. Today, I'm going to use Masterpiece, Mast, I'm sorry, Master Precise, Precise by iStudio, black, by Maybelline, New York. So it's Master Precise. Okay, and I love this. It's like a felt tip pen as well. So I'm gonna start on the top. I'm gonna start right where the Two colors blended and take it out to the end. Sometimes I do go out and flare it, but that's not often and definitely not to work. Underneath, try to go up as far as I can without touching the water line. I do not, and then I blend. I do not like putting any makeup product, eyeliner, eyeshadow, on my waterline. That's not it. So I'm gonna get something here. to blend that in a little bit. And then I like it kind of thick. And 
and then a thin line on the bottom. Kind of runs into the middle. Finally, for the eyes, we have two mascaras that I use. Currently, I change up a lot. One of them is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black, and I believe I used that last time on that last makeup video. So I start with that, nice long wand. And as I mentioned in the last video, when you twirl it, you kind of stick it, stick it in your lashes and then twirl, stick and twirl. As you roll it up, it really lengthens the lashes. And then a little bit on the bottom. I don't like to do too much on the bottom. And I don't have many lashes on the bottom, unfortunately. Now, if I'm going out and I really want thick lashes, I use a second mascara. You may be familiar with the YouTubers Brooklyn and Bailey. And they put out a mascara because they have the most luscious, dark lashes, long lashes I've ever seen. And so I purchased this thinking maybe I'll get them but I did it didn't work not to that effect but it still makes a little difference they use an uh, eyelash curler I do not use eyelash curlers I do not believe in them they end up pulling out more lashes than I care for so I won't be using that So, just several coats. It is easy to wash off with any makeup cleanse. Liquid. And then finally, for the lip area, The Liplicious Bath and Body Works that I used before. It is hmm, Berry Bellini. And then I use the Ulta Flirty Pink lip color. When I'm going out. Uh, during the day, it's usually just this or chapstick. <laughs> especially in the winter. So I like to apply it. I don't use a lip liner or anything. It pretty much goes where I want it to go. So I just follow my Cupid's bow. And then I push out a few little drops of this. and blend it in. And there you have it. Sometimes I don't make it quite as dark as this, but I thought for purposes of demonstration today, I would show you. And there's the whole effect. Then I would do my hair, which <laughs> I haven't done my hair yet today. But yeah, so there's my makeup look for the evening. Um, sometimes I wear, I wear this much during the uh, day, but not usually. 
There is one more product I use sometimes. Let me share that with you. It's a new product I'm trying to make a shimmery glow right here on the cheeks. I think I mentioned that in my last video. This is Vitalist Healthy Glow. And it is a highlighter for your cheeks, or I guess anywhere you want to put it. It's Sparkle Shine, I think, is the color. It looks like that. So I just dip my finger in it and I take out a wad like that. And I put it on my, near my apple of my cheek. I don't really have apples. I like the models do, so. But I do like to rub it in. And it makes a little bit of difference. In the sun, it really shines great. Makes a big difference, but. Inside, it's kind of hard to tell. It goes on like a cream. And sometimes it helps to smile and make apples of your cheeks, like I said. Now you can also put this on your chin and bring out a little glow there or on your nose or on your forehead. It's up to you. The possibilities are endless. So there you have it. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Um, if you liked it, please like below. If you Want to subscribe? Feel free to do that. Um, anyway, that's my updated makeup application. I hope you enjoyed it or found it relaxing. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thanks again. Bye bye.